Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the private inheritance in C++. So in the previous tutorials, we have learned about the public inheritance and the protected inheritance. So when we use the private inheritance, you know, the members of the base class are going to act as the private members of the derived class. So let's see it with an example. So here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose, I have created a class called person and I have the name as a protected member and I have a public method you know which is gonna set the value for this name all right now we're gonna build another class let's call it as student and the student is gonna inherit from the person class and it's gonna be private inheritance so I'm gonna use a keyword private and then the class name which is person all right now here just for the demonstration purpose in this class student let's have a method called display and this display is gonna print out the value of the name so it's gonna be C out and we're gonna say name and let's end this line all right all right now we have a class called student you know which is inheriting from the class person and it is the private inheritance you know when we use private inheritance you know the public and the protected members of the base class are gonna act as the private members of the derived class so here this name and this method set name are gonna become the private methods and the members in this class student so these two are not available to the outside functions and also not available to any class which is derived from this student for example let's say we had any class called uh, class graduate student g student and uh, you know here if we try to access any of this name or set name method you know that is not possible that that is because you know these members are gonna act as the private members of this class student and that's why they are not available in this class g student which is gonna be derived from this class student so just to demonstrate that you know i'll try to access the set name method here so let's say public and uh, let's create a method to set the value so let's say void set g student name and it's gonna take a string value so it's gonna be string i name and i'll try to save that in this uh, member name so it's gonna be name equal to i name you know which is not possible so now i'm gonna create an object of this g student so it's gonna be g student and let's call it as anil and uh, anil dot set g student name anil all right now we get the error i'm gonna build and run this you guys can see the error and if i open up the logs it says person name is protected in a member function void g student set g student name person name is protected so when we use the private inheritance the public and the protected members of the base class are going to act as the private members of the derived class all right now if you wanted to access this name what we can do is since this name and set name are available in this student class we can have another method so in the student class another method void student set name all right now you know we're gonna take string value so similar to that i'm gonna copy that and paste it here and we're gonna call this set name method you know this set name is available in this class student you know that's why it's gonna be set name and it's gonna be i name and here in our g student class we're gonna access the public method of this student which is set student name and i'm gonna copy that and paste it here and we need to pass the i name 
and because of this display is a public method of this class student it is available in g student so after this we're going to print out the value so anil dot display and i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this okay still we have an error logs okay that's because you know we haven't specified the access specifier here you know when we won't write any access specifier here you know it's gonna consider as the private inheritance that's why you know the compiler thought that you know when we use the private inheritance all the methods are gonna act as private that's why they are not available outside and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this one to public here and i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this program right now and uh, now we don't get any error and we'll get anil so you guys can see anil so when we use a private inheritance in our program you know the public and the protected members of the base class are going to act as the private members in a derived class so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page and stay updated with the latest tutorials that we're going to make and i'll see you in the next tutorial